everyone, and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a weekly wrap-up. Woohoo! So I got through four books this week. Four. Ken, four. Um, this is my goal for um, April Vacation to finish, well, start and finish the Bride Quartet series, which I've been calling the Bridal Quartet, and I just found out that it was just Bride Quartet whatever, it doesn't matter, but, so, I read Vision in White by Nora Roberts, that's book one, Bed of Roses, book two, Savor the Moment, book three, and Happy Ever After, book four, and this is a series that you have to read in order. I thought maybe you can get away with not reading them in order, but I would suggest reading them in order. Um, they follow four girls, and they own a company called Vows, which is a wedding company. Sorry, there's like a hair on my leg. So they have this bridal company, and each one of them has like their own talent slash thing that they do. Like book one follows Mac. And she is a photographer. Um, book two follows Emma, and she's the florist. Um, book three follows Laurel, and as you can obviously tell, she is the baker. And book four follows Parker, and she is, like, the one that keeps everything together. She does all those little, like, details. And she's basically, like, in charge of everything. So Parker owns this land, and she's the one that basically starts this, like, company with them. And each story follows one girl, and you still see the same points of, like, every now and then it'll change points of view between, like, the boy that they're falling in love with or, um, one of their friends. Every now and then it'll switch, which is, it's very, like, weird. Like, one minute you're just reading about the main character, and then it just switches on you, which is a little weird and kind of annoying. Like, I liked seeing the other points of view. I just wish it was more, like, not as jumpy. But, um, I enjoyed the series overall. I gave them all straight fours. Um, I did enjoy them. I think t after the second one, I was just kind of like, why did I want to read all four in a row? Just because they all kind of follow the same storyline. Girl meets guy. Guy has trust issues. Or, like, somebody has an issue that they can't resolve, and then they all, like, at the end, they get in a fight, and then they all end the same way, which is kind of frustrating, almost, but, like, at the same time, like, they were really good, I loved all of them, all these characters were just great, I was rooting for all of them, and I just really enjoyed the series, and I think if you are a girl who likes romance, you will enjoy these books. I was a little bummed, because you only see one wedding, like, this whole thing is about weddings, and... Out of the four characters, you only see one of their weddings, which was a little frustrating. And I went on her website, and she was like, yeah, you're not getting any of the other ones. And it was like, but I want them. I want them. But you don't get them. But they all obviously end happily ever after, as all romances do. But they all fall for somebody that they feel like they shouldn't be falling for. And it's just kind of interesting the way that works out. But I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil them because they all kind of follow the same storyline. So if I ruin one, I'm ruining them all. So I just hope that if you like romance, you give these a shot because Nora Roberts is just a great author. And I just really enjoyed these books and I'm glad that I finally got to read them. So that is The Bride Quartet and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye everyone!